Hey, so this is my screen and I pulled up the directions uh, that EDD provides to verify your identity with ID.me. And as you see, the very first step, uh, you got an email from EDD to verify your identity. Please click the link that says we need to verify your identity with ID.me. It's a pretty long sentence, so um, following those directions, I'm gonna show you what the actual mailbox looks like. So on uh, EDD website portal, you probably are familiar, this is your inbox view of EDD. I don't want to take more screenshot not to violate anybody's um, identity. So uh, on December 31st, they sent a suspension of claim email and in the email it just says, um, you know, hi Robert, you've been receiving unemployment uh, benefits, but uh, they've been suspended because you may be tied to fraudulent activity. Um, I don't know why they decided that, but I, I heard that a lot of people uh, were um, checked like that. So um, on January 11th, they say, okay, well, your benefits are suspended, verify your identity. So you receive um, this message, notice of suspended benefits. And just so you know, it's not just unemployment benefits, it's also social security and a lot of other accounts that were affected. Um, so it was very worrisome. And then I see this, this paragraph, we need to verify your identity with ID.me and ID.me is a federally certified identity provider. You know, here's the step-by-step -step guide. The step-by-step -step guide is this PDF. And uh, also underneath it says, you only have 10 calendar days to verify your identity. <laughs> Until what? Until they delete your account? I'm not sure. But um, either way, it added uh, extreme urgency and, and note that it was right after the New Year's, so not a great time. And this address is not actually for verification of identity, it's just for requesting more time, um, which again, I'm not sure how, how it would work. But anyway, so, so we're looking at this email, we're clicking on this PDF. The PDF is six pages long. Um, it explains the process, but, uh, you know, I can't even get to this page because there's no link anywhere. Uh, if you go to id.me, it's not... Uh, looking like that at all. There's no like way to access it from the home page. So so I you know I was rereading this and rereading this again hours. We call DDD. We're like we don't see the link. Where is it? The PDF is not explaining. And here's really the culprit of the whole thing. And it's a little bit silly because the issue really is that ID.me is such a short domain and anybody over 70 when they look at this sentence would not realize that this four letter section slightly different color is actually a link. It's not underlined. It does not say click here. Um, it's just not very explanatory. It, I wish they wrote the email a little bit clearer saying that click here for id.me, underline the link, and made this PDF a little more specific to say, oh, this is the only section you can click on, because click the link that says this, well, this is a paragraph, there's, it doesn't look like uh, inviting to click on this link, so. Um, and, and you know, once we did click on this link, it did bring us to the portal and it did work for us. I heard some people had it work slow, but um, it, it's, uh, it was easy enough. But really, it took, it took days uh, for him, for us, for support um, to figure this out. And the whole culprit is this email that just didn't have uh, it clear enough. 